Welcome to my first uh, video that focuses on the uh, features of the ES2 synthesizer. Um, we're going to start with the oscillators today, which you will find in the top left-hand side of the uh, ES2. Uh, this is the most basic part, and it's the part that you guys should know quite well already, uh, but I am going to talk you through it um, bit by bit, just so you understand how it works and how to use it. Um, so first, um, when you open the ES2, you'll find that you're on a default setting. Uh, we're going to change that to one that's a little bit more basic. You go down to tutorial settings, there should be one called analog saw in it. Um, and that's going to basically switch off pretty much everything and just leave you with one oscillator on. Now, each oscillator creates a constant waveform and uh, this particular preset is designed to give you a single sawtooth wave. When played, it sounds like this. <laughs> wonderful buzzy sound there. Now, in order to change that wave shape, we need to concentrate on this circle here. And we can change it just by clicking on uh, the, uh, the button here and moving that around to a different wave shape. So we can start with a sine wave, for example, give us a nice smooth sound. And we can change that to something like a square wave that sounds a bit, well, a lot buzzier. Uh, we've already heard our sawtooth wave. And then we've got a much smoother, uh, but slightly buzzier than the sine wave here. This is a triangular wave. Um, and also there are options to change your wave to something else as well. Um, if you control and click on where it says sine, there are plenty of other um, different types of wave shape you choose from, which are much more complex. But I'll let you investigate those at will. So I'm going to start off with a basic um, uh, wave shape. Let's start with the most basic of all of them. I'm going to stick to a sine wave. Um, as we've already learnt, um, it is uh, the most basic wave uh, that exists. Um, so we'll start with one of those. And then I'll walk you through a couple of the other points on here too. If we go to our left-hand side, you can see that there is... Uh, uh, another knob which has uh, various numbers surrounding it and these allow us to either tune up or tune down that wave. Um, when we've got one oscillator on that's not particularly useful but when we have more than one on we can begin to create chords and uh, if you're familiar with additive synthesis as a subject which we have gone through before uh, you know that we can use those tunings in order to build more complex waveforms. Now I'm going to keep that one on zero. That means that it's at its original tuning. So if I play that sine wave as an A on my keyboard, it actually sounds like an A as opposed to if I tuned it down by, let's say, five semitones, in which it would sound like a... It'd sound like an E um, instead of an A. Um, so we're going to keep that zero for now at its original point and instead I'm going to add another oscillator. Now we switch these oscillators on by pressing the number that sits next to each oscillator. So I can switch two on here and it does this, it opens this up and it adds another oscillator and I can add a different texture to that by choosing a different wave shape. Now I've got, a, excuse me, hiccuping there, a sine wave here and I might want to add a little bit of buzz to that by adding perhaps a square wave on top of that. Um, now at the moment when I press my key down, you're still only going to hear the sine wave. And that's because I haven't used this yet. Now this is uh, the blending option. It allows us to blend between each oscillator. Each point correlates to a number on uh, to a numbered oscillator. So our top point uh, is basically oscillator one, our leftmost point is oscillator two, and our bottom point is oscillator three. And at the moment, this little node here, which I can move around at will, um, is all the way at one, which means it's only listening to oscillator one at the moment. Now, what I'm gonna do so you can hear the effect that that has, is I'm gonna hold down a key, and I'm gonna move this node between this point and this point, so between oscillator one and oscillator two, and you will slowly hear this more buzzing texture of a square wave come into play. So if I hold down a key, you'll hear this happen. to hear it change to a more buzzing wave. Now if I had oscillator 3 on as well, then I'd be able to move through all three points to get a nice equal blend between the two. And if I stuck that right in the center there, um, a little bit difficult to do there, um, that's round about equal. So I've got a sine wave here, 
a square wave here, and this is automatically set to a uh, sawtooth wave, which sounds like this at an equal blend. She says, as it's not doing anything. Excuse me, I seem to have picked up a keyboard that doesn't work properly. Uh, let's do it this way. And that's basically how that mix and blend works. Now going back to this tuning option here, this now means that we can build up chords with these. So what I'm going to do, just to widen this and give it a little bit of extra texture, is I'm going to tune my square wave down an octave, so that's taken down 12 semitones, and then I'm going to tune this one up an octave, so we get a nice spread um, of notes here. Now when I play that you'll hear some very low tones, some mid tones and some high tones. They'll sound a little bit like this. Now if I change these live, you'll hear what effect they're having. And that's basically the oscillator section. This section is all about building your waveform. It's getting uh, your bass or foundation sound right before we start um, to change everything else by filtering the sound or amplifying parts or adding a low frequency oscillator or messing with the attack the case stain or release um, so that's the most basic bit I'm next going to talk you through the filter in our next little lesson uh, but for now if you could rewatch the video if you need to answer the questions that I've given you um, just to make sure that you understand this section as a whole